Father God, I just thank you for waking me up this morning, Lord, and for allowing me to have the breath in my lungs. I pray that today that you would just lead and guide me. God, that you would help my mind, my soul, everything that I am just be in line with your will. God, I pray that I would be impactful to the people that sit in my chair, whether that be through a haircut or through conversation. And I pray that just through the mundane, the everyday things, that you would draw me closer to you. God, you continue to show me how much I need you every single day, Father, even when I get prideful and arrogant. God, you always find a way to make me realize how much I need you in the day to day. God, that without you, God, the, my flesh is weak. God, I'm a broken individual, God, in need of, of your grace and your mercy and your salvation. I thank you for making me realize that, for always never letting me get too far, God, and, and, and bringing me back to you. But I just thank you this morning. I pray that you would be with my family as they wake up today. God, I pray that you would wrap them in your love this morning. <clears throat> I just thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, y'all, what is good? What is good? Good morning. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell. I ain't holding my camera today. Uh, that's because your boy got a new camera mount for the car, which is definitely um, super beneficial. I don't have to keep holding my heavy camera in order to do these car drives to the shop with you. So this is pretty cool. Um, but today is Saturday. It's the last day of my hair cutting week, my work week. Um, and we about to get it in, bro. We're about to get these cuts out the way. About to go ahead and get them right and get ready to kind of <clears throat> chill this weekend because I've been struggling, man. This past week has been like really rough for me. Um, I'm, I'm a routine guy who likes consistency. And I just feel like every day has just been out of the norm, out of routine, right? I feel off. So I'm just ready to really just ground myself again, cut my hair, because bro, it's been two weeks since I got a haircut. I mean, that's really long for me. So I ain't feeling myself, get back in the gym. Um, and then as well, just recuperate, right? Recalibrate, get grounded with my family, with work, get caught up, all of that, man. I'm just ready for this weekend. I'm excited for this weekend. Um, but yeah, 7.55, we're almost to the shop. Today we have about, I think I have eight haircuts today. So four before lunch, four before lunch and four after lunch. Um, and I'm excited, I'm excited to get these haircuts, uh, you know, not done, but get lace these haircuts up. I'm excited for that. Get ready to see my people, my clients. Um, because those are my people. My clients are my people, and I don't know where I would be without my clients, because I seen a post from Jay Majors on Instagram the other day. Jay Majors, the who throws the CT Expo, and he was talking about people who always talk about, you know, being, oh, I'm self-made. Basically, like, I did this all on my own. And he was like, nah, you know, it was, it was my client, right? It was the construction worker. It was the pastor. It was the, the, the accountant. Right? It was the clients that shaped and molded me, as well as God, into the into like the person I am now, right? That through teaching and through conversation. So now I ain't self-made because without them, I would have no barbering career. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely don't take my people for granted and I try to always remember that even when you know you get caught up in the day-to-day -day and you, you really just lose that that sight and that perspective. <clears throat> Um, let me text my next one so I won't be like two minutes late. Um, but yeah, man, I thought that was so true. I, that, was, that was so true. I value my clients. I appreciate my clients, especially the ones that have been there through every um, step of the process, right? Price in increases, location changes, right? Life circumstances where I had to take off and reschedule, like, especially those ones. I really rock with y'all, man. I really rock with y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. So it actually turns out, I only have seven haircuts today. My three o'clock just canceled on me, so I'm gonna try to bump up my last one and leave early. Um, it's a Saturday, so I ain't tripping. Um, you know, I'll leave the shop early, get a, get a head start on the weekend. Oh, golly. Get a head start on, a, on, head start on the weekend. God dang, I can't talk. And this dude is right in my butt, bro. Back up. <laughs> I actually think I'm about to try to cut my hair today. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow, right? Sunday, I go to church with the fam. 
and um, we leave early. So in order to cut my hair, I gotta wake up early. And since I'm gone, basically every, golly, bro. And since I'm gone, basically every morning by the time they wake up, you know, on my days off, I like to be home in the morning as much as I can. But at the same time, I like to knock everything out the way by the time they wake up, you know? So sometimes I might miss them by like 10, 15 minutes. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that today, especially since I had a cancellation, get myself right. But man, unfortunately, um, I don't know, you guys probably noticed through vlogs and stuff, I, I said I potentially might have some big news coming. Um, there was a location I was looking at for a barbershop um, that I was very eager to get into and, and hoping I would get into it. But, you know, basically the deal um, kind of fell through. So what had happened was there was a space that opened up in, in a plaza that I wanted to be in. And they noticed that the tenant inside of this plaza was struggling, right? So in order to basically, the landlord basically save themselves as well as help them out a little bit, they wanted to get a deal with somebody else and then bring that to the current tenant and be like, yo, we noticed you're struggling. You know, if you wanna get out of your lease, we have this option right here, right? Which would have been me. So basically we did all of that. And then they went to the tenant and they, they brought the situation up. And um, the tenant basically paid a portion of what he owed the landlord and said he wanted to thug it out essentially, right? He just wanted to, to write it out because he believed he could do it. I never want to wish bad on a business, right? But I was kind of salty because I wanted this space. So, you know, obviously since he wanted to stay, I wasn't able to get it. But the good thing is that the broker, right, the middleman between me and the landlord, basically was like, <coughs> if this wasn't the situation and the space was just open, um, like it definitely would have been yours. You really impressed us with the information you were able to provide, provide in a timely manner, your professionalism, you know, he said, especially for being a business that's not like a, a chain, like you did everything right. So, you know, he said, if anything is to change with that location that, you know, I would be the first person that they call as well as for another plaza. Um, and it is what it is, right? Yesterday I was kind of sad. I was kind of salty when I got that info, you know, cause I don't like when, it's hard when you have something like planned, right? In your head and, um, it doesn't happen, right? That's like hard for me. But you know what we gotta do? We gotta take the win with the losses and we gotta keep pushing forward. You know, that might've been God's way of saying like, not yet, you know? That might've just not been the location for me as well. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we are gonna take that. We are gonna use it as motivation to continue to, to push forward and press forward. Um, and it is what it is, right? You can't, you can't win all of them. I've been having a lot of dubs lately, but at the end of the day, you can't win all of them, man. You gotta take everything as a lesson. So that's where I'm at with it. I'm not gonna stop looking for a shop, um, but this definitely is a perspective shift as to like what I'm putting my attention to. And I think I'm really gonna lock in with this online academy that I'm gonna be dropping soon um, for you guys, which I'm super excited for, with the you know the way more in-depth tutorials, um, you know, giving giving you guys business advice, all the questions that you guys ask me that I don't really get to tackle in YouTube videos because. You know, those videos alone really don't perform well. Um, I'm gonna put those in the academy and those will be available for you. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It should be out within the next month, two months. I really wanna get it nice, you know, and, and essentially as perfect as can be before I push it out to you guys, right? Because we wanna give out quality. Um, so I'm excited for that. And I think that'll be life-changing for me and for y'all, you know? But I'm almost to the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and catch y'all when I get in there. Um, I will see y'all in a minute. Roller scan later. I know, I think Liv bought her helmets and knee pads and everything. She said it's been a long time. I, th I think so, it's been, it's been years. I think so. Where you gonna take it? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. It's with Tasia and her friends. I'll take the cape. It's with Tasia and her friends. Yeah. Oh, so they might not have it. 
No, they're going for sure. I just don't know if Liv really wants to go. Especially because she, she don't want to talk about yesterday with Tasia. Yeah. So she don't think she wants to go. So, so. Open your eyes. Go and check it out. Sharp. Yes, sir. Look, you made it a deeper meaning. The barber pole, the sharp edges. And she said she got donuts, they're trying to make me fat. I'm still gonna go get one now. You want one? I'm gonna go look at them first. If there's a glaze, you said? Okay. Alright, pops. Welcome back. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> Let me go look for you. Well, for me too. But right. <laughs> oh, yeah. They had it glazed. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Where's your name from? Uh, Duncan. Can't go wrong with the donut. <clears throat> Hello, sir. What's up, bro? Good morning. It's gonna be a good one, bro. It's been four weeks. That was my fault, though. Let's do it. Uh, you can put on my jacket if you want. <laughs> if not, you risk the chance of hair again, I know. For sure. <clears throat> All right, bro. What you want to do, man? We got work to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely, like. Trimming the beard tighter to the face. Mm -hmm. And then not look homeless. I got you one night down the top to the same length. Oh, for sure. Fade it up. Yep. Cool. Let's go. Let's bring out the widow speak again. Did you want to do like half of half of like what the beard is? I think. I don't know. Okay. Just a smaller version of what you have. Yeah. Basically. Okay. Yeah. I'm a fan of too long. You got plans today? Um, me up with one of my youth, and then I have um, bowling as an outing for the youth. Two is crazy. <laughs> you went to uh, church yesterday? I did. Is it <clears throat> packed? Yep, it was super packed. I was like, I had to park all the way in the end of the parking lot. Like, might as well have been at that car shop next door. Yeah, yeah. I always park over there by the basketball hoops. Yeah. I don't. You began church early, right? Yeah, I'm going to all the time every time. We had small groups Wednesday, and my kids was like, 
No, you're, you're off the cold. He's like, the only thing is, is that your uh, lack of haircuts ruining it. Dang. I said, y'all right. <laughs> I said, right? Don't I look like a homeless man? Did the, person, did the person say it? Have a haircut? Yeah. <laughs> they was feeling themselves. Yeah. You're like, all right, guys. So today I'm gonna show you how to. You would uh, be a good them. model. It's just when I think models, I I don't I can't fly them out. I don't got that type of money. <laughs> they gotta live there. I don't even pay for my own flights on those trips. <laughs> I know that. You, you, bro. I post that. You don't understand how many people that live here. Are like, bro, I'll do it. I'm like, cool. You paying for your own ticket? <laughs> I'm like all jokes aside trying to like go on more trips. Mm -hmm. When I need more trips, I mean a single one because I don't go to one. Yeah, you should, bro. I don't know how to do that. I just be trying to look up flights. I'm like, these ghetto websites, how do people do this? It's not a website. You can do it right off of Google. Oh. Just look up flights to wherever you want to go. No, but then they take you to websites. I look like if I press the wrong button, it's over with. Nah, they don't take you to the real ones. There's only American, Delta, Spirit, Frontier. Don't do those two. Spirit. The first flight I've ever went to was Spirit. Yeah. And they're nobody just, warned me. They're just too unreliable, bro. That's it. Do Delta, American, or at where is Southwest? Delta and American, though. That's where I try to stay with them. Frontier came to my flight back from Puerto Rico and just left us stranded, bro. Oh, Didn't bro. even try to rebook us. Yeah. There ain't no way. I woke up to it, and we were supposed to be at the airport in two hours. And um, I woke up to the email in the middle of the night, like, bro. So I had to rebook everything myself. They said, sorry, flight's canceled. Basically, period. <laughs> oh, period. Okay. Because have a nice day. It was cool. Apolog I, on the flight. I apologize for the inconvenience. Okay. Catch y'all next time. I'm sure there's a boat. They said, oh, his name sounds Puerto Rican. We're just going to leave him. No, for real. Let's get him out of here. His last name is Morales. Oh, yeah, y'all can take him out. <laughs> Don't bring him back, please. <laughs> so I want to go to Florida and do, like, Florida activities, but I just cannot go fat. Sammy, bro, when are you going to stop this fat nonsense, bro? When I stop being fat? You're not fat, dude. Yes, I am. All right, then, if you think you're fat, are you going to the gym? Yeah, I'm going on Monday. Starting? Yeah. Good. Boy, well, even if I wasn't, I'm still gonna complain that I'm fat until I do something <laughs> about it. <laughs> I'm tired of being built like Baymax. That's insane, bro. <laughs> Baymax got that sleeper build, though. He was no. whooping everybody. Baymax got the sleeper build. No, my sleeping for sure. <laughs> like. You know how toddlers be looking with their beer bellies? Yeah. That's me. You be eating good? Yeah, that's true. Like healthy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said I eat good. He said, yeah, too good, bro. Yeah. You gotta be specific. Good to me is different than your good. If I knew how to, because I wanted to start going to the gym, but I, like... I can wake up early, but never that early. I'm not doing no five or six o'clock in the morning. You don't think your body could do it? They sure can. But that's that's two disciplines in one, and I don't have both. Hmm. You don't have discipline? Nope. I would say that's cap. You just told me everything that you do every single week at the same time. Yeah, but and you do I'm it. talking about discipline in regards to like my health. Mm -hmm. I think you got it. You just got to make it a habit first. So I wouldn't start off with 6 in the morning, but I think once you start at some point, I think you could. Because you make all that other stuff a routine. True, true. And you're tired while doing it, so...
I definitely thought you were talking about that guy from Lorraine. <laughs> that was my uh, mom's ex-husband's nephew. Really? Mm -hmm. He's locked up right now. I know. He got buff. I know. I need to go to prison. I'm like, bro, who gave you a phone real? in there? I always wonder that. Will they be taking pictures? Yeah. Like they be saying. on Facebook like they out. My bro, friend hit me up one time and I was like, oh, what's up? How you doing? He's like, good, you know, almost done. I said, but what? <laughs> I said, oh, shoot, you in there? He said, bro, how do you remember my number, bro? Yeah, the freak. You sitting in that Home Depot looking place with your uh, twin bed, just chilling <laughs> on that phone? Who gave you that? How are you not getting caught? Whose butt was that in? That's insane. My bad. <laughs> not for real, that probably was. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how people get phones. But, I mean, apparently they get, like, internet time. They're able to go on social media. Shoot, my dad can't. <laughs> no, he can't. He just don't want to. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Gypsy I asked him. Husband. I asked him. I said, bro, how do people get phones? He said, honestly, I don't even know. I just I'm always curious what they do for the day. Like, do they get up and just stare at the wall? They have jobs. Days? Like, what job? Uh, well, I forgot what he does. I think he actually, um, does, like, the toe. And he, like, toes, like, big crates of toilet paper. For real? Yeah. So they be making stuff up. Yeah, no, yeah, there'll be jobs to, like, you know, clean the prison. That's crazy. I'm like, y'all got a Boys and Girls Club in here? <laughs> <laughs> they have the option to do it, but they don't have to. So I don't think they, everybody has to. Paid? Yeah, they do. What do they use the money for? Uh, you know, their cars, different food. They go buy different like types of food. Outside of that, I don't even know. So the haircut looks so crazy in the camera. What do you mean? In a good way. Oh, that's <laughs> it. What you do? <laughs> Oh yeah, back in action. Back in line, back in Look line. at that, man. I think the chap lives brings it all back together. Clean, clean. Oops. I <laughs> said, so what am I looking at? Fire. Fire. Let's do it. I'm proud of this one. You're welcome. Put my heart and soul in it, bro. I appreciate it. Blood, sweat, and tears. You got a little bit of blood right here. What's up? No. That's <laughs> it, what you doing? Hold on. Oh, my God. I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> it's the price of looking good. I'm going to turn to the camera and half of my forehead's going to be gone. All right, my brother, Patrato Eres. If you are a victim of being hurt by your barber, ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to clip that, put it on Instagram. <laughs> now we think somebody going to talk to me in the first notification I got from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought your hair was green for a second, I was about to say. What's up, man? I'm Andre. Nice to meet you. Let's go. Who's gonna cut, you or him? Mm -hmm. You know what I was thinking? Mm -hmm. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm not sure if I should do it or not. Getting the sideburns. The, for real? Yeah. Nah, your hair cool. We'll grow back by tomorrow. Right, Shorty, this is, this is what, two, two weeks? So imagine lining that up and then two weeks from now. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. But you're right though, it does go so fast. Yeah, and the thing is, cause you know how when your hair grows, like obviously we gotta cut that, so it grows like that. With ice picks, you would have to cut you would have to cut some of this, you know? Okay. So when it grows back it would look like that, but like okay, right here, you know. Okay. Yeah, I would say I would say the taper we do is better. Okay. But if you want, hey, we can still make it look right. No, <laughs> I don't. 
I probably know people with the last name, but like I don't know them, no. I'll be out the way, bro. To be honest. Oh, you be looking out for him? She sleep. She ain't hear none of that. Wow. Buenos dias. Good morning. Ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He got like a comedian voice. You know, like a Cat Williams type of voice? That's what he got. Oh yeah, we back. What's up, sir? Give me one second. You want me to come grab you? I'll come grab you. Check that out. He got it. Yeah, you like doing that, ain't it? <laughs> you sound like the uh you know the, the black girl in the projects you grew up with that we have in the meeting. <laughs> it's been a minute since I took a picture. Not all, I appreciate you. How's life? It's good, brother. Good. I can't complain. I told you I got one on the way. Oh, yeah, you did. You okay. did. You, yeah. told, you told everybody and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think you had still yet to tell their, her family or something, right? I forget. Last time you were here? Over, that looks like a gun. It does, right? <laughs> That's the you remember the spray thing I used to have that would light up and would give out the alcohol. Oh yeah. It's it's another one. Like yeah. It just looks like a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. What would you like to do? Um. Yeah. Thanks for asking. I mean, mm -hmm. normal. You know, I actually I think I do want to take some off the top. Yeah. Last time we didn't. Yeah. Last time we didn't. That's right. So take some off the top for sure. What you think like half an inch? Yeah, I think that's what you usually like do. Like that right there? Yep. Okay. Tight fade on the side? Yeah, tight, yeah. Fade it up. Take some, you know, I like it a little, mm -hmm. a little lower. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little long for you. Yeah. And the blend into it right here? Blend into okay. it. Okay. Sir. Let's do it. Thank you. But the reason we're going separate is because I, um, on Monday, I need, I have to stay in Cincinnati for work. Um, and it's closer? What is it? They in Cincy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cincinnati's like damn near Kentucky. And it's like 30 minutes from Dayton. But yeah, I'll stay down there and she'll come back up here. Oh, okay. Well, that makes yeah, sense. Yes, yeah, it's probably. Gonna put it back a little bit. Is having a dog like inconvenient? It's like having a kid basically. It's like, yeah, it's like having a kid. You know. You gotta let it out. Um, Maybe I'll wait on a dog then. Yeah, you guys were talking about it. Oh, uh, I mean nah, we can't have it where we stay now, but I do want a dog. But who knows? I don't know. Yeah. What would you guys get? I would want a golden doodle. But the big one, right? Yeah, a brown yeah. one. A medium, like medium size, it don't be too big. But a nice, like chocolate brown. Oh, you want the chocolate brown? Yeah.
hair in the back is like longer than all the other parts. I feel like it needs to like even out. Idea. Who was the last person that cut him? Was it me? Has he gotten a cut since then? I think he got cut by uh, Stance. Uh, nope. Gains. Huh? I won't go to stance again. Huh? Go again. Oh, okay, okay. I thought for him you do. For I your did, son. I, yeah, I did, but. Uh huh. And, and then he, he was trying to say I was trying to embarrass him in front of his wife. Mmm. Like, oh, you trying to accuse me of all that? Then he texted you there? He told you that there? Nah, he told me that on the phone the one day when I was. Because I was. I had set up an appointment with, for Case and I was calling to make sure he was there because it's happened before. Right. Um, not necessarily with him, but with the shop. Right. And, uh, and then he was like, remember I told you, he was like, oh, I got to uh, I gotta talk to you next time I see you. I was like, you just talk to me now, what's up? Mm. Did you say it like that? I can talk to me right now? <laughs> I don't know exactly how I said it. I would never do this. Right. Sansi? Sansi? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I know who he is. Yep, he took over his brother's shop. Did he? They, so, Gaines got a brother named Dayson. I owned a barbershop called City Breaks. But he let them both of them go, and I think the other dude bought one of the locations from wow. And just renamed it and stuff. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if he took out an SBA loan or something to buy him out. Just, yeah, it looks good, bro. Yeah, his brother tried to sell me that shop. It's it's in a oh, for real, for real. ugly area, yeah. Nice shop inside. He set it up, but cool. Yeah, yeah. I like to know when I leave my shop, I don't have to worry about having to file like, I don't want to get my car stolen while I'm cutting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it fits a stereotype. Like, there's a junkyard right next to it with um a really aggressive dog that barks at you when you walk You're by it. Me. Like, literally. Because they had, they had an event there that I went to before. And the dog was like, he was about to break out the cage to get me. I jumped and everything. Had me looking stupid. All right, Mr. Miller, happy Saturday, brother. Thank you, Dang, bro, hurry up. What's up, dude? How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good. What made you take your son's appointment? Uh, because I had to cancel my last one, so I hadn't seen you for two weeks. So I said, let me get him somewhere else. Remember right, I but I saw you had one last week, so I was yeah, like, oh, okay. Is that really? A I got you. So are you giving him your one next week? You coming in? Oh uh, no, I'll be here. Oh okay, okay, say less. No, no, no. Yeah, like he kind of wasn't. It was just fine, but I was like, then it'd be like a month that I wouldn't be here, and I'm like, right. That Did you cancel your last one? Because of the snowstorm, bro. I freaked yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. I had would a, you have still came considering how it was on Saturday? I, I would have still come. I wouldn't have canceled. If you would have knew, it would have been so like how happened, it was. What happens is that in the middle of the week, it was like Friday to Saturday is going to be wild. I said, uh -huh. I have two choices. I said, I can either <laughs> this down take the, I, I can take the chance and not have a haircut at right. all because it's wild, still wild, and the roads are still crazy. Or I had to get one that day, like though you had an opening that day, I was like, and just have something for the weekend. Mm. So that's the choice I made, and then Saturday morning, it was completely fine. I was like, wow. I was like, Johnny was really panicking, bro. I was laughing. Bro, I knew you were <laughs> 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 Let me tell you something. Because you didn't even give me a chance to text back, no, bro. You, you know what it was? It was I was at the gym that morning, and I was running, and I was just thinking it all through on Thursday uh -huh. morning. And I'm like, oh my god. Am I not gonna have a haircut this weekend? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm thinking it was 6 a.m. I was like, I'm not gonna text him right. <laughs> yeah, I would have just been getting up at no, 6 a.m. So I waited and then I was like, oh, let me just play it safe. And then everything happened and I yeah. said, uh, Christian, let me take your appointment. So here we are. Bets, what, um, what you wanna do? I do like the I kinda like it getting longer, to be okay. honest with you. Um so same on the side, like maybe texture the top a little bit, mm -hmm. line me up a little bit, but I like the like how, how, how it is right yeah, now? As it's okay. Out. Um, same thing with the beard. Trim a little bit down here. I got Everything you. Say less. I see a little white hair right there. Bro, they're popping out. The longer Ooh. it gets, it's wild because like it gets longer than I see them, and I'm like, but that whole thing is white. It had to have been white for a long time. I'm right. Just now seeing it. So I can't do it. All like you'll get a sore throat. Yeah. Bro, I get that at least once a year, really bad. Even in the um. What should we call it? Like when I, in the summertime when I'm mm -hmm. like I'm running outside, 
Like if I have to lead a song that we right. try and not run outside, like I try to do treadmill, that it just literally just it affects my vocal cords. The wind like rushes yeah. Through, so I don't do it at all. And you drink a lot of tea. I, yeah, I drink green tea every day, every morning. Have you ever had to call the, uh, the ambulance on anybody just acting? Nah, but when I was recording my commercial for my shirts, mm -hmm. um, the dude that I was fake cutting in it. Mm -hmm. We were taking a pause and like talking about what the next scene was gonna be. Yeah. And I hear a phone fall. I'm like looking over here. I see a phone fall and I'm like, oh okay. But there's like a mirror on the other side. It's not my Luigi's, there's a mirror on the other side of the chair. Oh, okay. So I look and he's like slouched in the chair, like like as if he's asleep. And I'm like, Elijah. Like Elijah. And bro, he's not waking up. Passed out? He passed out. <gasps> I was like, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> if I see if that I would have passed out, you'd have two people I'm like, ah! <laughs> No, oh, but I, he opened. He, uh, I don't know, bro. We got him water. We ordered a pizza, and he was straight. How I long, you know how what? Long was he out for? I think he was overstimulated. It was the barbershop, like a full day. We were recording, and he was sitting there under the cave for a while. So I think him getting warm, all the background conversation, like everything. You know, maybe Wait, he I'm didn't eat or drink. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that would have the crap. I was. Dude. I was nervous, bro. But how long? Bro, as soon as I tapped him like three times, he woke up, but he woke up. He said, bro, what happened? No, that's He was like, I just fell asleep. What's wrong? I said, bro, you were not just asleep, bro. You passed out. Oui. Well, when you get up saying what just happened, you did fall asleep. Yeah. You literally blacked out. He was like clammy. He, he like lost a little bit of color. No kidding. Yeah. I mean, you need to get up and walk around, man. No, we did. Took the cape off him, went outside, got him water. You did that at um. Yeah, he said he wants to come in soon, so I'm like, all right, bro. I think this girl does this girl do hair? Yeah, that's why he doesn't come here anymore. She's just been cutting it, you know, because he, he got the long hairstyle, so it's mm -hmm. all scissors. And it's free. I would go to her too if I was just had a haircut like that. Is that what she like does for work? Yeah, oh, oh, this okay. is Libby. Hey, you're on speaker. Um, you can say hi, where are you going? Um, I'm not, I'm like, hold on, I just need to get my car. Yeah, you could come say hi real quick. I got Johnny here. Okay. All right. All right bye. Have you eaten at that How do I answer yet? that? What if I didn't want them? I can't say no. I could tell in your voice you didn't. If I was your wife, I would be like, <laughs> I'll just go. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna have food at this party. Watch them be like, oh, Dang, what cake. party don't got food? Are they gonna have a, a charcuterie board? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I hope it's not nothing like, here's cheese and crackers. I hate when parties have only that. Or like hors d'oeuvres or whatever. Or like snacks. Or just like a random shrimp thing. Or marinara or whatever that's called. Nope. I'll eat it though. Shrimp is fire. I think it's called, I think that's cocktail sauce. Yes. Shrimp is good. Hi. Oh lord. He gone. Was that aggressive still? Or are you just hungry? No, oh, don't. okay, okay. Was I thought you was like, yeah. <laughs> what? No, it was fine, it was fine. Come here. On your cheek, he did? Up here, yeah. Mmm. That was bad. No, it wasn't bad. I mean, I was annoyed because it like did. It's those little ones that don't be stopping bleeding. It's like oh, you take it off, like, I tried to apply pressure, and it was like, I was like, okay, see, where you go? Freaking boo. <laughs> there you go, sir. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna come? Look it. Say hi to the camera. Look it. Look it. Say hi. Say it. Say hi. Look. What's your name? Kai. You wanna sit here? Okay, get a haircut. So as y'all can see, the family came and visited. Look, say hi. Say hi, people. Say hi, you gotta say hi. Hi. Say hi. Say hello. She wanna dance. <laughs>
It worked out because my two o'clock canceled. You know, I was not on my computer, but they wanted to check me. That's okay. <laughs> what up, bro? You look nice, man. Look at you dressing up. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, I heard, bro. Crazy times in the family, huh? People just be fucking. <laughs> like yeah, that right there? Good, yeah. All right. Clean fade. Mm -hmm. Was the last time you got a cut when I did it? No. I, say, I, had, no to shot. One, I had to get one when uh, I went to my base. Oh, okay, okay. What time is the baby shower? Four. Oh, so you're gonna slide right after? Get right for my birthday, man. Gotta get cute. Oh, your birthday is when? Tuesday. Hey. You about to go out today? To it. Nah, not... Well, actually, I might with my brother. Pop. No. Uh, my brother Ricky. Oh, okay, okay. That's like that one. No, it's not like that one girl that blew up at, for getting out of jail at the one who killed her mom. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. weird that she's f <laughs> just because it was Dre. I think it was because I was off your story and I was just like at work. Oh, you pressed it out off of the story? Yeah. And I was watching it and then, like, midway through, I'm like, why am I watching this? <laughs> mm -hmm. And he has a personality for social media. Ready. Sheesh. I look good with my fat ass tonight. That next fat. Smooth. Yes, sir. Pretty. Best player is blended. <clears throat> to see, like, and when you go sit in the fucking dance, bro. Mm hmm. From when you open the door to when you. Oh, shit. This mm. is something. Something the, different. The, 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 the light on the on the, the emblem on the bottom of the door. Yeah, when you open yeah. That motherfucker to. To, to the shit that pop up on the screen to when you open the door, bro. They giving you experience, experience when you right. get in the fucking car. Mm. So once you you like, oh shit, I'm I'm getting so from from yeah here sir here here's some some champagne or some distilled water it, or yeah whatever whatever right? make it sound fancy you type know what yeah saying? whatever the fuck that they gonna give you to make the sale. Mm -hmm. It's like oh shit. This isn't an this isn't an experience. Exactly. It's not just about what it's the experience. Man, why do I want this shit? The experience of it. Yup. When I get And the my, reputation they the built. Oh the the reputation representation of the product. Mm -hmm. Of what they've already you know, the, what what that brand has been around a hundred something years. Yeah. So what they've been what they've built over that course of time is what I want. Exactly. Once you really niche that shit down, bro, you be like, damn. Now I just have to do this on my own shit. Mm-hmm. It's the same with haircuts. Yeah. The, 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 the haircut is important, how it look is important, yeah. but the experience while they're getting it, yeah. it's very important. Are they comfortable? Is the music good? Bro, the whole All thing, that. the whole thing of it, bro. You, you, even, bro, you, you being... Does it smell like bud? Like, right. you know, all that, no, you know? Like, right. Exactly. You're, or, or, bro, even when you go do your, you know, your, um, your panels. Yeah. You're on these panels. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're providing value. Mm -hmm. That people be like, oh no, man, I can go. I talked to Dre. You know what I'm saying? I right. had a conversation with him. He gave me some game. Mm -hmm. And I ran with it. That's value. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your price about it is, that's your price point. Mm -hmm. and, and if people want to take what, what you said and run with it, that's on them. Exactly. But then, those success stories. Is how you build a real business. When you get that, hey, no, man, I talked to Dre. Mm -hmm. and, and with Dre, what he told me, I was able to do X, Y, and Z. Mm. That's the referral service, bro. Right. That's the referral program. One motherfucker gonna tell you, the next thing you know, you got a hundred people that can say that. Next thing you know, it's a thousand. Next thing you know, it's a million. The reviews. The reviews. Yup. You know, of, of, what, of what you're selling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's very vital. And that that's why I tell people don't don't be so moved about money. Yeah. Because
Jordan Sersky. Go ahead and check it out. Thing going crazy. Turn around and check out the back. Fresh. Let's do it. That's one of the day. Yeah, bro. Chilling tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we're going to stay home today. Yeah. You don't go out, but do you? Oh, uh, like out, out? Yeah, I, I go on a day night with white people. We ain't going to the club or nothing like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm here, bro. Yeah, but outside of the weekends, yeah, nah, I'll be home, bro. Home and family's house. This stuff take a lot of my time, bro, making videos. I know. And I've been posting every day on YouTube, so. Yeah, you should, brother. How many, how many posts you do in a day? Oh, it depends on the day. I try to do at least one a day. Okay. On a good day, I'm posting three, though. Good day three? A good day is 12, 5, and 8. Okay. That's All right, y'all. I just finished up my last cut of the day. <clears throat> I can hear it in my voice. I'm very tired right now. Um, so I'm about to hurry up, clean up, and I'm going to go ahead and talk to y'all on my drive home. Um, I'll see y'all there. All right, y'all. Back in the car. About to head home, man. Just right on the seatbelt. So one of the ladies that works in the building that I'm in um, always offers food to everybody, man. She's so nice. But today she brought in donuts. And if y'all saw the last video, I was talking about the lady who brings in donuts. And sure enough, this is my second one. But, you know, it's Saturday. I just finished my last haircut. I feel like I earned this donut, man. So good. But... Can I drive with these lights on? I'm driving one. I was always told growing up that driving with the lights in the car on was like illegal and that you could get pulled over for it. But like, I just recently found out that that's not true, right? That was just like a, a myth I guess a lot of people grew up with. And if you think about it, why the heck would they put these camera, I mean, this, uh, these lights in the car if they were illegal? Like, it don't make no sense. Um, so yeah, I'm about to ride with it, man. We're gonna test the theory. Let's see if I get pulled over. But like I said, man, <clears throat> I'm feeling very tired today. Very accomplished, though. I uploaded to YouTube three days in a row. So I'm happy about that. But there's something about when you work hard, right, to the point of, like, low-key exhaustion. And you just kind of get, get to sit back when it finally gets to the point where you, you can rest. And it's just, there's, there's really, like, a sad, such a satisfaction and, and sense of confidence as well as relief in it, bro. Like, when I'm able to, like, establish a goal for myself and finish it, bro, the con Oh, I'm going to throw that hit a car. And, the, and, and accomplish it, bro, the confidence that I get from that is um it's insane it's insane and as well as like just this sense of fulfillment because i finished this thing that i set out to accomplish you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie driving when it's light is kind of distracting um so i'm feeling good i'm feeling satisfied i feel closer to my goals closer to my dreams and that's all you can do every single day right is get a little bit closer to the goal and to into that dream um but what this weekend is going to consist of is I have a YouTube video to put out for y'all. Sunday is going to be my break day. Um, and then we'll be back Monday with another vlog that, of today's. So today's Saturday. This is when I'm recording this. I'm going to post this on Monday. Because Sunday I'm not posting, right? That's going to be, that's the Lord's day. That's when I chill with the family. That's when I rest. Um, so today, tonight's going to consist of going home, eating, watching a movie, chilling with the wife and my daughter, kind of connect. <clears throat> and get that routine back just like I was saying um this morning and then yeah you know rest up wake up tomorrow I'll come ahead before we go to church and we go to church chill and one day we back at it man sounds boring you know there's nothing exciting about it but this is the everyday grind that builds character um that establishes good habits and gets you one step closer every single day you know what I'm saying Nothing flashy, nothing exciting. Sometimes there's stuff that ex that's exciting. Like this is fun to me. Like this working hard to the point of being exhausted. Like this is actually, I really enjoy this. At the same time where I say I'm tired, like I I'm definitely enjoying this. I feel like I'm addicted to this lifestyle. 
I'm just working, working, working. And sometimes I got to be like, Dre, bro, you just, you got to chill, man. Something that I read recently in that um, Patrick Bed David book that I told you guys I got recently is if someone is winning at a higher level, level than you, either lower your expectations to match your work ethic or raise your work ethic to exceed your expectations, right? Because a lot of us look at people who are in the same industry as us and doing better than us and are like, man, like what are they doing that I'm not? Like they're lucky or you complain that you should be in that. But you know what, bro? There's something that they're doing that you're not, right? And instead of you bashing someone for being in a position that you wish you weren't in, your work ethic needs to max the expectations or the goals you have for your life. At the end of the day, like this, this, this mindset of like, I'm gonna manifest my future, but not follow it up with, with, with everyday tangible things and habits, but you're not gonna get there. We're not wishing on nothing and getting there, right? Like for me, manifestation, I don't know if I really like, I don't know if manifestation is something that I, I, I believe. Honestly, I believe what I can do as a person is I can pray and I can, I can ask God for, you know, this thing or this lifestyle or whatever, right? And I can pray and have faith that God will give me those. But at the same time, there has to be something that you do on your part, right? I don't believe you can, I believe God can do anything. I believe God can answer your prayers and, and get you to certain positions and places and you know, I, I believe he can do that. He's a God of, of miracles. He can do whatever. But in honesty, if we're praying to be in a place, right, I, I don't believe if you aren't willing to do the daily habits on your part, that you're going to get there. I just, I just don't. I don't. Same with people who believe in manifestation. I don't think you can sit there and imagine your future and you're just going to have it, right? There has to be daily habits and things that you do every day to bring you closer. You have to have that sense of work ethic. Right, so if you're not happy with where you are and you're jealous of someone else for being in a certain place, bro, what are you doing? Why, like, there's a reason you're not there and they are. Figure out what that is. Figure out what that is, right? Maybe you need to post more content. Maybe you need to cut more hair. Maybe you're not as good as you think you are, right? You have to be honest with yourself. Sometimes you're really not like that, right? And, and and if someone tells you you're really not like that, you don't know how to take that and be like, man, maybe they're telling me the truth. So maybe sit down and actually step back and look at what you're doing and, and see if you're doing enough. You might not be doing enough. You really might not, you know? So all that to say, basically just make sure that the expectations that you have for your life, make sure that your work ethic matches those expectations, right? It's not just gonna happen. It's not, you have to go out and get it, you know? You have to do it. Ain't no wishing upon a star. It's not. I'm sorry. You know, that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling accomplished, bro. When I when I really feel like I, I got somewhere, I just be want to talk my stuff, bro. That's it. That's it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling accomplished. I'm ready for the weekend. Um, make sure this mic ain't dead. But before it dies, I'm going to go ahead and, and get up out of here. I will catch you on the next one, man. I appreciate you guys for watching A Day in the Life. But like always, see you on the next video. Peace. What is up guys, welcome to the Clipper Hands Academy.